Hi everybody. Hi y'all. It's Kimberly here. I'm going to tell you another story time tonight. It's a it's not really funny. Well, no, it's not funny. But it's a little unusual, not scary. Maybe maybe sometimes when I think back, it could be scary to me. Uh, I was a senior in high school and I went out with this guy for a couple weeks. He was really really cute and really really nice. And he had like a I can't remember what was a Trans Am or a, some kind of Camaro. I can't remember. Really cool car. And uh, he asked me to move in with him. We'd only gone out for two weeks. We grew up with, together, but we didn't know each other really well. We were in some of the same classes in junior high and high school. Actually, I think I was. It was in the summer after I graduated. And I was just 18, and he asked me to move in with him, and he said something about his dad needed uh, help, and if I would cook for him and every, you know, kind of take care of everything for him, that, oh, he, I'll pay for your car, you don't have to work, you don't have to do anything, I make a lot of money at my job, and I'll take care of you, and, you know, I kind of thought about that, and, because I hated my job, I worked at a fast food place, and I, I just... But, you know, I didn't know him very well. We just went out for two weeks. And uh, well, I was raised in a kind of a religious house, kind of mm, very, it was a strange situation. You know, my mom would be really strict sometimes, and then other times she would just not even care what we were doing. So it would be a little confusing sometimes. And I was like, no, no, I can't do that, because my mom would have probably been mad, but... I actually ended up moving out, I think, about a week after that, but this guy was really nice, and I broke up with him because I was in love with some other guy, and uh, I ended up going out with him, and I remember I called him, I told him, oh, I'm breaking up with you to go out with somebody else, and he goes, oh, really? <laughs> it was kind of funny, and uh, years later, uh... This guy ended up killing somebody. The guy that wanted me to live with him and all. He ended up murdering somebody in his own home, in his garage. He killed him over a drug deal. And he did something really stupid. He wrapped the body up in a tarp. And then he used these... Uh, I don't remember what business he was in, but there were like these particular ropes with little pulleys or something on them attached to them. A little mechanism or something. I want to say a pulley. I don't remember really. Attached to them and wrapped the body up and put it in his truck and drove it, I think about 100 or 200 miles and dumped the body in, I want to say either a caliche pit or a lake or something like that. And there was a lot of um, speculation, you know, as to whether he did it or not. And I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. I kind of didn't believe it because he was a really nice guy. And I was just, God, you know, I can't believe he did that, you know. Or if he did, I, I really wasn't sure, you know. But then all the evidence started coming in, or, you know, you know, you got to use common sense, you know, and a lot of the evidence was linked to his job and to the company, actual company that he worked for. And he actually had some of the little mechanisms or pulleys or whatever were in his garage too. The same exact things. And so he was arrested and then um, went to trial and he was found guilty for murder. He's in jail for life. So, ooh kind of glad I didn't, you know, when I think back, uh, because he was such a really nice guy, and to have done that, I still kind of can't believe it, I mean, I mean, it's the, the greed and the power that drugs have over you, you know, and the money and drugs, and it was some kind of drug deal that went bad, and he killed him, killed the, the other person, so, oh, I feel like I escaped that, you know. Thank goodness I didn't. Okay, well, I just wanted to 
I loaded up this one and another one tonight. They're both kind of short. So, two for the price of one. Thank you. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you so much.